Fetch AI has rallied up over 40% in the last few days, and it doesn't show any signs of wanting to slow down. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the technical analysis on Fetch AI, more specifically ASI, the new merger between Ocean Fetch and, of course, Singularity Net. As I get into today's video, if you do find it useful and informative, smash that like button if you're new, subscribe, and let's take a look at what's going on with the Fetch token. So here we have Fetch AI's uh, Fetch token, which isn't technically true. It's the uh, Artificial Superintelligence Alliance now. Uh, it's a merged project with three different projects. You've got Ocean Protocol, you've got Singularity Net, and you've got Fetch AI all coming together. Uh, they're all using the FET or the FET token ticker, right? And um, so there's a huge amount of new demand coming in, which is why you see such aggressive price action uh, for uh, Fetch AI here, which is great to see. Um, now, this particular interesting structure that we have, uh, it does show a very impulsive break. Uh, and we are looking for this to continue a little bit, or at least hopefully continue a little bit. It does seem to be running out of momentum, though. So we want to kind of be Aware that my minimum expectations are right there at one dollar forty-seven, um, and our typical expectations would be for this to continue running just a little bit further, up between uh, one dollar sixty-one and one dollar eighty-seven point five. Right, that would be kind of the range that we would be typically looking for. But the reason that I'm not so confident on that, and why I think actually this is likely to drop down soon, is next week we do have the Federal Reserve interest rate decision which is expected to be an interest rate cut. That is known as a Federal Reserve pivot, and that historically has been very negative on the stock market and the crypto market, just like a knee-jerk reaction. So everything that's been going on right now, I believe, is more of a build-up towards it and then a sell-off on the actual news. We kind of call these things sell-the-news events, even though it's not really going to be a sell-the-news event in this particular instance. It's going to feel exactly like that. And this particular move, we are expecting a five wave structure uh, that five wave structure appears to be playing out quite nicely here on this daily time frame. So we are likely to see a double top it would be nice to push up a little bit further. I don't think we're going to, but it would be nice to do so. Uh, at the moment, we are, of course, looking for a closed position, a daily closed position above that daily 200 EMA, the white line that's currently at one dollar thirty seven point seven. So as you can see, we've seen two candles get rejected here. OK, and we, of course, we saw over this side, this being heavy resistance. If we can get a closed position above the 200 day EMA, that's going to be a positive bullish signal that could potentially take us to those higher ranges. A closed position here and maybe a wick up towards 147.7 with a double top scenario and a closed position lower than the 200 EMA. That is going to be a very bearish position for the FET token to be in meaning that the uh, Super Intelligence Alliance, uh, the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, the ASI, is going to, of course, be negatively impacted by that, and we're going to see slippage to the downside. Okay, that slippage to the downside can be very aggressive as profits are taken. Where do I think we are likely to go? Well, I'm thinking a double top minimum expectations, maybe a little bit of a push higher. We might get a bit of a closed position uh, here on the 200 EMA, but I don't think it's going to be long lived because we don't have a huge amount of days left. Our momentum is also quite interesting. We're overbought on the daily time frame, but we're only just there, indicating that we can be up here for a while as indicated previously. In previous scenarios, we've been up here since, uh, let's say, 14th of August, all the way through to the 25th of August. So a good 10 or so days. That ties in with basically going in line with the Federal Reserve and doing a interest rate cut. Okay, so we can be overbought, we can continue to run a little bit higher if we needed to. But we're also overbought on the smaller time frame. So expect volatility than those as, as well. If we go ahead and turn off the stochastic RSI and bring on the divergence indicator, you can see here, this is heading up towards the overbought, the relative strength index, not quite overbought, but it's close. And historically, we have seen, of course, uh, price moving down here. Now, we do want to be aware that if we do push up into a higher high here on the daily time frame, whilst the relative strength index is in a lower high, that is going to be bearish divergence that we need to be aware of, and that could potentially be a downturn for the market. So keep a close eye on that divergence indicator. It can give you an indication 
information a little bit earlier as to when that reversal is coming and of course what you can do. So I'm not going to necessarily be wanting to go long on uh, on the FET token at this stage and not unless maybe we get a closed position above here. We might do a little gamble maybe uh, with the idea of pushing up into this higher range with a good risk reward ratio. I think the better play will be looking for the short positions and basically looking to basically make sure that we have a nice tight stop loss in that, um, you know, in that range. And of course, target out minimum 1.5, but we could have a trailing stop because I do think we're likely to come down quite aggressively and even lose the $1 level on the FET token. I do think we're going to come back down to this pre previous area of consolidation. Specifically, I think we're going to come down to, and I'm going to go ahead and draw this little box in now for you guys. Um, I'm going to draw it right in here and I'm going to pull it across and I'm going to actually just tag this onto here. Um, I'm actually going to tag it onto here so we can see exactly where all those wicks were. There we go. Okay, so this particular range is quite an interesting one to me, and it's interesting for a couple of reasons. One, uh, we can see here that we found support on this range. When we lost it and we found it as resistance, we also tried to turn it back into support, which we have successfully done. So I suspect that we are likely to come back down in this range. At the moment on this daily time frame, we should be very aware that we are in lower lows and lower highs at the moment and a double top would still be a bearish situation for FETS token okay uh, so I'm looking for this lower range I do think we're likely to come down um, even this kind of broader range so we basically are talking about 89.8 uh, to $1.11.4 right that's going to be the range of expectations that I have on FETS AI and um, so although we have the idea that we can continue running I don't think we're going to um, I could be wrong I'd love to be wrong on that I hold a fair chunk of FETS AI FET token uh, or was a singularity nets AGIX is now converted to FET. Um, so I do hold a nice chunk of this. So I don't mind it continuing to run. I just suspect that it's probably not. Um, and I want to be, you know, trading uh, my kind of trade bags in accordance to that. So if I was to be trading, I'm going to be trading on BitGet and Blowfin. Those are my go-to platforms. You guys know that by now. There's some fantastic offers available with Blowfin as well. Uh, so do check those out using the link in the description down below. Um, so, yeah, everything is kind of working out quite nicely. I'm not terribly too concerned about this move to the upside. We expect consolidation and then we're expecting a big break to the upside, right? Because all of this is a really interesting kind of point for FET uh, fetch token, right? We currently have a low 70 cent. It's possible that we lose that, of course. Um, I don't think we're going to, but it's possible that we do. And if we do, that's going to be a huge buying opportunity because we already see great growth or have seen great growth historically without the merger, right? Um, um, obviously, there was talks around kind of the merger and all that kind of stuff and getting it pushed through, um, which is great to kind of see earlier in the year. Um, but, you know, we can see here that this is a nice area of consolidation, actually just a little bit lower, which will be a real interesting point. If we do have a major crash in the market uh, due to the Fed and all that, then this little pocket right here between 48 and 60 cents is going to be a huge potential buying opportunity, in my opinion. So um, that in itself is going to then allow us to see some significant growth growth on Fetch AI um, as I am looking for this thing to push quite aggressively as I think the AI narrative will continue to kind of bloom. Now, if we want a 20x, I do think we're going to see that from the low 40s. Um, we've already done very, very well so far from the lows of 2022, uh, where we have seen this grow up by uh, six. 0.3000%. Um, and I'm just looking for another 2000%. So I think that is something that we need to kind of consider. I think it's going to be a pretty lucrative move. And that just gets it to $10. This one has the potential to go significantly further, in my opinion. If we take a look at the bigger picture for this particular asset, uh, we can see that there has been some really interesting kind of structures in the past, uh, that if they do tend to, and if they do repeat themselves, which they tend to do so, um, yeah, we can see if I can just snap this on there. I apologize for the unprofessionalism here, but there we go. Um, we can go ahead and push that onto here. We can see the actual pocket of, uh, of expectations is actually between $8.65 and $28. And that will be my kind of range of expectations based on the three wave kind of pattern, which seems to be what's going on here. As you can kind of see, we have one push, we have a correction, we pushed up, we have a correction, we push up, right? And where are we right now? Well, we can see, if I go ahead and grab this, we have the W, the X, the Y, the X, and the Z. And where we are at the minute, we have the W, the X, the Y, the X, and we'll look for the Z. Okay, now that doesn't have to be massive, but I suspect that the Z wave 
will push up quite aggressively um, and we will see that kind of you know minimum expectations uh, or minimum expectations my base expectations I should say not minimum expectations but my base expectations of eight dollars coming to fruition so very really interesting stuff on fetch AI you can let me know what your thoughts are on all of that in the comments down below or join us in our free discord server linked in the description if you have found today's video useful smash it like button if you're new subscribe and check this video out right here it's not one you're going to want to miss